guess where I am? I am in China, guys. I'm in Shenzhen and I'm here with BYD. Oh my gosh, what an epic trip this is going to be. It is all the technology that you're going to want to see. All of it, all of it is going to be epic. You'll see what is lined up behind me, which, I guys, it's information overload. But uh, I'm going to put together what I can to make this, let's see, probably one of my best videos ever. If you had asked me five years ago if I would go to China for work, I would have probably said it wasn't likely. Oh, how things have changed. And I was lucky enough to be able to join BYD for 10 days in one of the tech capitals of the world, Shenzhen. We also headed to their factory, which is housed in Shangzhou, as well as a few other very cool things like a circuit that you'll see more of now now. Guys, this is insane. I'm like also upper lip sweating. Okay, it is so hot and the humidity is insane. But I want to show you just some of these cars quick. BYD, which stands for Build Your Dreams, first entered the car market in 2005 and was the first car maker to officially stop producing ICE, or internal combustion engine models, in 2022. And 2024 saw the 10 millionth new energy vehicle, or NEV, roll off the line. Yeah, Tesla who? <laughs> BYD is in this game to win it. And winning is exactly what they're doing. It is a tech company built by engineers. And we got to see just a smidge of what this tech is all about. And believe me, it is out of this world. Oh, by the way... Just a side note, they have 120,000 research and development employees alone. Guys, I'm at the BYD circuit in Zhengzhou, which is their racetrack that no media has ever been at before. We're the first media in the world to experience this. I'm so excited. We're going to do like a whole bunch of fun things. We're going to like drive cars in water that like float and we're going to like drift and oh my gosh, there's so much to do. You're going to have to just come and check out what we're doing. Let's take a look at the floating car to, you know, um, whet your appetite. This is the Yangwang U8. And yep, it can pretty much swim. It has 880 kilowatts of power and an insane 1,280 newton meters of torque. We'll get you to 100 kilometers per hour in just 3.6 seconds. And it can autonomously drive itself and will pretty much take you anywhere you want to go. And although the floating thing is actually designed for emergency situations, it is a pretty massive flex and one of the best party tricks I have ever experienced. A motor is placed on each wheel and monitors the situation. Once the car goes deeper than the one meter wading depth, the floating system kicks in and the car literally drives in water. It's like being on a boat, but in a car. Or more like the most luxurious yacht, because, well, BYD doesn't skimp on luxury, that is for sure. I can't actually believe that that was a car. Like, it feels like a boat. It's insane. BYD's intelligent body control system, called DESIS, is a form of advanced suspension technology that improves the vehicle's stability and drive experience. DESIS is a phrase that means cloud chariot. So you can just imagine how comfortable it is to be in this car whether you are hitting crazy sandbanks or climbing up mountains. Now speaking of suspension, let me show you the Yangwang U9, also known as the dancing, jumping, spinning car. Oh, and it will get you to 100 kilometers power in just 2.3 seconds, thanks to its quad motor four-wheel drive electric drivetrain that produces 960 kilowatts and 1,680 newton meters of torque. But this is not the only thing to blow your mind. Just look at what it can do. Yep, it actually jumps, and then it dances, and then it can spin. This is all thanks to the Desus X intelligent suspension system, which allows it to adjust each wheel independently to provide, well, what I would call party tricks. But these tricks are actually for things like being able to drive on three wheels if your tire blows out, or navigate really tight spaces, or adjust the wheels just independently. These party tricks are a way of just demonstrating all that this car is actually capable of. Okay, we're about to go racing, guys, on the track. I'm in the U7. Woo! Okay, they start going to break at the blue cones. This car is so comfortable. Comfy. 
Nice. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, we're going. Here we go. Guys, don't forget, this is electric. Nice. <laughs> All right, yay. <laughs> oh, that's nice. There it goes. Okay, this is the Denza CZ9 GT. Here we go. No. Whoa. Go, 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 Oh my go, god, go. I lost it, I lost it! Oh, ah. here! That's cool, it's so good. <laughs> oh! Ah. Good good drop. Nice, thank you! That was really fun. I've got like the jitters now because I really wanted to beat Chad and I did! <laughs> Not for any reason, but you know. Nice when a girl wins, you know. Oh my gosh, it's so smooth, so quick, so comfy. Very easy to handle as well, I have to say. I didn't feel, I felt very confident. I feel like I could have gone quicker. <laughs> Let's go get his time there. Look at that. Can you even see it? 15.78. Well done, you! If I was going to be beaten by anybody, it had to be. It had to be. <laughs> So we have just ended the day off here at the 4x4 track. I am shattered. My upper lip weight has now just become a part of me. And um, I'm ready to shower. But what an incredible experience. Like, what a facility as well. It's really, really impressive. You know, I'm not the hugest EV advocate, but this is something that would get me on board very uh -huh, quickly. <laughs> The ultimate solution for that charging anxiety is to make charging as quick as refueling a car. Genius, I say. BYD's Super E platform and megawatt charger enables you to charge up to 400 kilometers in just five minutes. That is one second for every two kilometers. That's crazy. And fortunately, we won't be seeing this in South Africa anytime soon. Can you just imagine SCOM's reaction to this? But now speaking of South Africa, what we can expect to see here soon, from BYD that is, is the Dolphin Surf. Now for a brief moment, it was the Atto One, but they decided to stick to the Ocean Series naming format and here we are, the Dolphin Surf. This little guy is expected to be the cheapest EV in South Africa when it arrives in September. We can expect it to be under 400,000 Rand, but it will still be jam-packed with tech and will come in two variants with different ranges, around 400 kilometers of range, maybe less for the other variant. But I might just keep some of this news back until the actual launch. You can also be excited to see the Sea Lion 5 come to South Africa, which should be the most affordable plug-in hybrid. It will have an electric range of 71 kilometers and a total range of 982 kilometers. That's amazing. I'll get from here to Plettenberg Bay and back. No props. And lastly, and it isn't entirely confirmed, confirmed, but there's a very good chance that we might see the Denza B5 coming. Now, Denza, like Yang Wang, is a sub-brand of BYD. Now, I adore the look of this, my goodness, and it'll have a range of 1,200 kilometers, also being a plug-in hybrid, which is my favorite, because it's like an EV with a backup, like I always say. So let's hold thumbs that it does get here and get here soon. So that is a wrap on my trip to China with BYD. I'm actually at the airport in Shenzhen waiting for my flight, which is at midnight. So it is going to be a long wait. But what an experience this has been. And I think what has excited me the most is that BYD is so invested in not only their technologies, but in educating and showcasing it and willing to sort of bring it all to South Africa or as much as possible to it to South Africa so that new energy vehicles become more accessible to our consumers. Look, EVs are still expensive and plug-in hybrids are still expensive. In fact, cars are expensive. Let's just be blunt. But even the fact that we've got the Atto One to look forward to, which is going to be the most affordable EV in South Africa, and under 400,000 Rand, that's huge. So listen, if you want to see more of the technology that we might get, that we might not get, doesn't matter, 
go to my social media platforms because I've put up a lot of videos there and there are more to come. I've got a lot of content from this trip that I'm going to be sorting out in the airport just now, but so that you are kept up to date with everything. Uh, but I hope that you've enjoyed this rather unorthodox video from me. It's been a long time since I've done an overseas trip. I don't travel that much and it's been a long 10 days now, quite ready to get home. But what an exclusive and an incredible experience that's what this was. I'm just like, pshht, BYD, bring your drinks. Nope, that's not what it is. It's build your dreams, okay? <laughs>